Hey guys, I'm here playing Dungeon Siege 3 for the PC. Demo just released on uh, Steam, I think about two days ago, so I've been playing a, a little bit of this. Uh, it's also going to be available on the Xbox 360 and PS3. I believe the PS3 demo just came out and the Xbox 360 demo has been out for a while. So this is, um, you know, I'd probably do diligence before I go further into my impressions of this demo so far. It's worth noting that I know absolutely jack shit about the Dungeon Seeds franchise. Uh, I've really only seen the terrible, terrible Uva Bowl movie, Dungeon Siege, in the name of the king. So I've never played any of the earlier games. This is my first foray into the game. Uh, and, you know, for a hack and slash RPG, action RPG, uh, I'm, I'm usually a big fan of those games. Games like Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance. Uh, I really loved that back when I first got my PlayStation 2, back in like 2002. This game feels pretty much exactly the same as that and you know you can take that as you will but I don't think it's a compliment considering this is literally nine years later uh, but anyway let's let's get a little bit further into the game before I talk too much shit about it so basically uh, the thing that I, I don't like about the game so much is that so much of it is just like click click block click block click block over and over and this is actually a bad example because I'm kind of getting destroyed here but uh Pretty much the whole game is just been, it's, it's, it plays less like a, a good RPG and more like uh, a traditional beat-em-up. Like, like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time type game. Which is, like, fine, I guess. Uh, I mean, they're a little bit outdated at this point, which is kind of a problem. Uh, and repetitive, like, that's, that's the main issue that I've had so far, is that the entire time, the game for me has just been clicking, and clicking, and then holding the spacebar to block, clicking and clicking and clicking. Uh, and it doesn't seem like there's much in the way of like a uh, like a strategic combat simulation going on here. It, once you get them, just click, 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 and then uh, you're basically over with. But anyway, the reason you play an RPG, even one like this, isn't always for the uh, gameplay. Which here is it's fine. It's totally serviceable as I rag on it. I should probably put a caveat there. Uh, it's just kind of boring. It's uh, it's extremely repetitive, at least thus far. Is there some kind of loot in here? Yes, there is. Let's see what we got here. Some armor. That's going to be useful. Um, I'll pick that up in a minute after I finish clicking on these guys. Um, you usually, you usually play an RPG for the story, right? Which is is uh, totally valid. Or I shouldn't say usually, but sometimes you play an RPG for the story. Or at least, putting it this way, a bad story can, or a great story can often make up for what's an otherwise kind of lackluster game. Uh, in this, I, I don't, I can't really say with authority how well the story goes, because I'm just playing it based on a demo, but what I will say is that I really don't like the storytelling style, and it does it, or at least it did it for the start, all through this kind of like, thousands of years ago, kind of like a, a Star Wars crawl where a grizzled old veteran just kind of narrated the events that happened over a map made out of papyrus. And I'm like, how lazy can you be? Can you like render some cutscenes, get some voice actors, to give me some action for this story? I have literally no connection to what's going on. All I know is I'm, I'm a member of what's, or I'm a descendant of the main fighter in what a group called Legion, and Legion was fighting against a woman named Jane Cassinder, who is implied to be some kind of sorceress or witch. So that's that's as much as I know, but what I do know is if you want to get a game that'll get you drunk, buy this or get this demo and then take a shot every time they say Jane Cassinder, because they seem to do it every two or three minutes. So I'm gonna hold down the E button and pick up this armor, and then this is a good time to show off the kind of menu screen that we got here. So here's our character here. One of the really disappointing things for me so far was that they only allow you to take one of two characters. So I can either be Lucas, the uh, descendant here, or I can be, uh, I forget, I think it's her name's like Anakara or something. It's, it's prototypical, like this guy's kind of like a warrior or like a, a soldier type character. And then the woman is more of a magical or a nymph-like character. Uh, and let's see, we have abilities here. Which, uh, the kind of thing that disappoints me and the buzz that I've heard a lot on this game is that for an RPG that's coming out on the PC, there's really not a lot of depth. You can see we only have nine abilities here of, you know, varying usefulness. I think the one I put the most points into is this blade dash. Was, if I hit one, I dash forward in the blink of an eye and slash through any enemies in my path. Or I can bash people with my shield. Uh, I can take a strike a pose and heal myself a little bit. Uh, but anyway, the only nine abilities, which is not really significant, actually, and uh, also talents. So these are things kind of like passively, like I can increase my critical hit damage. Uh, let's see what one of these later ones are. 
Whenever I'm healed, the amount of healing is increased by 4% per point that I put into this. I mean, fine, that's cool. Uh, and then I get proficiencies. So within these abilities that I had earlier, I can also choose different things like Brutal Pummel or Impetuous Slam so that make these uh, abilities a little bit better. But there's not a whole lot of combinations there, which is pretty sad considering, like... Let me put it this way. A lot of complaints that people bring up a lot when it comes to pretty much any game that comes out on the PC is that things are gradually being... Transmute this item. Let's do that. I'll, con I'll continue my rant in a second. All right. I have no idea what that did. I guess it increased my block on this, this shield. Um, I think. Let's go back and check. Transmute this in? I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'll admit. I'll, I'll feign ignorance there. Uh, is the kind of consolification... And actually, I think I got rid of that piece of armor I picked up. But that's, that's, not, a, that's not a problem. It's like consolification of games. And that's fine. I mean, the general argument there is that the games are getting a little bit more... Uh, produced for a wider appeal as opposed to having depth. So their accessibility is high, but their depth is relatively low. Normally, this complaint, for me, is full of shit, and that's coming from someone who loves console gaming, so of course I'm going to be a little bit biased there. But this kind of game, this, like, not so much a roguelike, but hack-and-slash RPG, I really think this works better on the PC when there's depth to it, because when it's just made to be accessible, Unfortunately, there's not a lot uh, that really... Oh, I've just been killed, but I can come back. I can resurrect myself. Continue. Um, yeah, and just, like, ambush those guys as soon as I come back. Yeah, fuck you guys, I'm a zombie. Um, but, uh... Like, I, these games really need a lot of depth. Otherwise, they're just so repetitive. And that's the main concern that I have with this game so far, is that it's so goddamn repetitive. It really feels like I'm gonna get carpal tunnel syndrome here. The other thing is, like, I never really feel like I have that much control over my character and, like, my ability to block or, uh, or attack. Like, I always feel like I'm pretty much vulnerable to attack at all times just because there's so many people coming at me at once. So, you know what? Let's try to use some of our abilities. There, that's, that's one right there. Alright, I mean, that's, that's pretty useful. But it doesn't add any depth to the game. It's like, even compared to a game like Diablo where there were so many different character builds and each one was really, uh... It really changed the way you played the game, let's put it that way. Uh, and Diablo, uh, Diablo 2 anyway, is uh, you know, nigh on 10 years old now. So again, not favorable comparisons to be making. Again, the game doesn't seem that bad, and I'm not going to judge it too harshly just based on the demo. But the problem is, like, if you come out with a demo, you'd expect the demo to, if anything, uh, like be a good representation of your game, or actually better... Uh, at least in small doses than, than the actual game. You expect it to show some of the highlights. Not that they should be spoiling anything, but that they should be, you know, convincing people. This is a marketing demo, obviously, not just putting it out so people can can test their, uh, see if the game is for them. The game is clearly, the demo is clearly put out there to make people want to buy the game more. And uh, with, when you come in with that context or that perspective, it's a little bit scary that this demo is as boring as it is like it really does not give me faith uh in what the full game is going to be like but again maybe i'm not the target audience for this if you want like your casual hack and slash rpg i don't know maybe wait for reviews maybe you'll find this one to be up your alley but i'm gonna keep playing this is the guy i need You're to find Legionnaire, aren't you? Bad idea coming here. so um there's a certain amount of like dialogue treeing in this game but it doesn't really seem to have an impact on the story uh, although it does have an impact on the amount of backstory you'll find out just through them basically giving you exposition and speaking. So explain yourself. Why would you say that? Is there trouble in the village? The Rill is an occupied town. Not sure how you got this far with all the Lascanzi about. Well, I killed some, but I did also die two times. I dealt with some mercenaries. They were a nuisance, nothing more. Won't matter. The all right. I'm not really interested in what he has to say. No, I haven't seen Oh, can I pass, you. please? I have no orders to open the gate. Good. I'm just going to skip by the story. Uh, you know, you got a feeling for the voice acting there. I don't think you guys really need to <laughs> hear the story. Um, let's talk to this guy. The old estate was burned to the ground. All right, so there's a certain level of interaction. These would be save points, but unfortunately the game doesn't let you save in the demo version, which is kind of absurd considering the thing is 45 minutes long. I, if like if that's supposed to be encouragement to play the game more then I don't know, not so much. And admittedly, I am glossing over story elements here, because I'm not really interested in them. This game is, for the most part, not not up my alley. 
but also I feel like you guys have missed the uh, all the exposition at the start, so you're probably not that interested in either. Oh well. If we're <laughs> we're old friends, yes, or even lovers, perhaps. Fan service. If we want to be discreet, maybe you should like put a shirt on. All right, I'm a guy. I'll play along. Then take my arm, Miss Katerina. And if we weren't playing, I might take your arm. If you were the charming gentleman you seem, but I have to be quick. I don't even understand what you just said. This town is a trap. An army of Lescanzi mercenaries is hiding in the upper rill, behind the walls. More of them are in the forest, outside of town. Great original character design, right? And for your friends. Um, the woman who hired them, she's not taking any chances. The woman who hired them? Is that Jane Cassinder or is that you, you hussy? Alright, go on, I don't care. I'm not listening, actually. I'll do it. We shouldn't be seen together. I'll take a different path and meet you later, if I can. Alright, cool. This is a store. Press E to begin buying or selling. Well, I mean, I guess I could buy uh, items, but or like potions, but I don't really need any, so... Uh, this seems pretty linear. I'm just going to keep walking through the forest and maybe getting into some more fights. See if the game has a little bit more to offer than what I've seen so far. I will say, you know... Technically, the game is fine. I mean, like, it looks okay. It doesn't look great, but it looks alright. Uh, it controls a little bit clumsily, but, you know, otherwise fine. Um, my the, the only fundamental problem I have with it is that it's really goddamn boring. And, oh, look, I'm on fire. I'm taking one damage every two seconds. So it's like being on fire is less damaging to me than, uh, than actually getting hit with a crossbow bolt. I don't know, maybe true. I've never been hit with a crossbow bolt. Clicking, clicking, eight clicks and you're done. There you go. Alright. It took surprisingly little damage there. I was lucky. Now, as far as I know, this blue meter at the bottom is probably, you know, something to do with magic. Or maybe you uh, use your ability points. Yes, those are ability points. Alright. Let's take this path here see what's going on. Oh, okay. The one other thing I should mention is that you can uh, adjust your stance. I guess apparently I can just hold my uh, defend button and I'll be eternally safe. Not true, not true, okay. Um, I can change my stance, so if I hit Q, I change to a more, uh, a stance more fitting to fight uh, multiple enemies. So that's kind of cool, I mean it adds a little bit of variety to the combat, but certainly not much. Uh, the targeting system does not work as smoothly as I would like, but it's, you know, it's, it's serviceable, it's fine. I, I'm dead again, let's just resurrect myself. And again, like, as I talk shit about this game, take it with a grain of salt, because you can see, like, I suck really bad, and this is clearly not my type of game. But I am more into, like, games like, I don't know, Fallout, uh, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, uh, games like that, and this is pretty much not on my alley. But I did play a lot of, uh, action RPGs, and I love hack and slash games. Uh, the only problem is they have not really aged well. Let's pick this up and then... Add it on to ourselves. It seems like a needless quest for loot. Let's see, if we put on the Hoberk of Rage, it gives us plus five attack, minus two armor, plus four block. That seems like a good, good value to me. Let's just continue on down this path, which might actually take me back to the town I was just in, or into Stormsong Cavern, which, uh, you know, if they're gonna put a boss fight in here, it seems like this would probably be the place they do it. Oh, good, you've come. Oh, I don't I care. I don't trust you. you. Suspicion. you Go afraid. on. Who is I this? You this? A key that will open the prisoners' cages. All right, well, open the prisoners' cages. I am pleased to see I was right about you. Go now. It would be better if I were elsewhere. Is this the same Perhaps girl? We'll speak again after this affair is finished. Okay, that's the one thing I don't like about this game. Well, the one thing. That's one of the things I don't like about this game so far is that it seems so fan y with its female character designs. And, like, don't get me wrong, I understand the target audience of this game, but, uh... I mean, come on. Do we really need more RPGs that just are chock full of, like, big-titted sluts, basically? <laughs> uh, you know, have, so have some originality. Again, I'll go through and click my way through here. Take out these guys with my my uh, new fighting stance, which is actually seeming to be a little bit more effective. It seems like my other fighting stance should be mostly used for one-on-one -on -one fighting. But, uh, you know, again, I'm going to die in about two seconds anyway. There we go! <laughs> Resurrect myself again. I'm not sure if the resurrection is going to exist 
past the uh, past the demo into the full game. But if it is, I consider that to be probably a bad choice on their part, because it seems like there's no consequence to the game whatsoever. There we go. Now, if I actually block, see, I I never feel like I can actually block an attack from these guys and then get my own attack off fast enough. So let's block. Okay, and then oh, actually that worked pretty well. I'll take that back. I'll give the game some credit there. How do I get down here? Got a, some new armor. Ailetes of Resolve. Sorry, I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, so my... Oh, that's actually useful. So, uh, I'm uh, programmed or conditioned to think of that as Italian. Guess we'll go in here and kill these wizards. Thanks for warning me about that. They actually sound like uh, women, so they're not probably wizards. More, uh, more along the lines of a witch. Or an enchantress, if you will. A sorceress. Which way do I go? I have no idea what anything on my mini-map means. I will say, this environment actually looks pretty good. What, the, what is down here? Prisoner's cages? So this is basically just a fetch quest, clearly. You, I, except this time they've given us the key, which is, I guess, a nice change of pace. As opposed to having to gather the key ourselves. Pick up the sword. Again, this is what I mean when I say it seems like a pointless quest for loot. Kill some things, get some loot. Oh, I lose a lot of will, but I gain a lot of agility. I'll take this. The story doesn't really seem good enough to me that would that it would uh, engross you. And the gameplay is not going to keep you interested if the story isn't that good. Let's pop open this chest. More loot. Um, not really that interested. And a save point. Oh, that's what I was running for. Well, that's clearly unnecessary since uh, you have to pay $49.99 for the ability to save. That would actually be a genius business model for a game. Is uh, Make it so you can only save the game if you buy the game. Release that in like the next Final Fantasy. People will go apeshit. The other thing that really annoys... Where am I supposed to be going here? Back here. The other thing that really annoys me is that uh, it's one of those games that has a roll in it. Like a running roll. And you roll faster than you run. So I spend like the whole game rolling when I should be running. Anyway. Let's take out my new stance. I'm getting massacred here. Also worth noting, I'm playing the game on easy right now, so my inability to block is either uh, indicative that the game has too high of a challenge level, even on easy, or I am fucking terrible. Probably, uh, probably more the, uh, the latter than the former. But I think I'm coming close to the end of the demo anyway, so I'll be able to give you some closing thoughts. This is uh, my second time playing through the demo, but, well, second time playing the demo, I should say. But my first time finishing it, so I'm not, I'm not, at, after this point, I'm not really sure what happens. Yeah, we'll cut this guy down. Cut this guy down. Click, click, click. What's going on with these guys? One second, I'm going to charge at you. There we go. 37 damage. That's pretty useful. Oh, that actually is pretty useful. Too bad I'm, I'm spamming through my agility points so quickly. Agility points? Ability points. There we go. Come up. I'm not sure where all this health is coming from. Like, I'm up to 240 health. I'm not sure how I got there. Maybe I leveled up somewhere along the way and the game just didn't want to tell me. So, yep. Yeah, again, uh, you know, the more I play of this, the more it just looks like wandering through caves, wandering through halls, wandering through forests. I liked it more when it was, you know... Well, actually, I, the original Dungeon Siege apparently was pretty good, but, uh... And, and same with Dungeon Siege 2, but this... Not so much. So we're noting this is developed by a, a different uh, a different studio than the original Dungeon Siege games. This one is uh, Obsidian. And Obsidian, like, they do some good stuff. They actually did Fallout 3, so... Uh, the aforementioned Fallout 3, I should say. Yet another death. More deaths than I had in the entirety of Super Meat Boy, basically. Uh, but uh, the original ones were developed uh, by, I think, gas-powered games, so... It's understandable if these have a different feel than those earlier games. I have a feeling that buzz on this one is going to be lukewarm at best. Very, very tepid. I don't think that there's a lot here to, to keep people interested. And there's been a lot of, like, relatively medi- another boss here? Alright. There's been a lot of relatively mediocre RPGs that have come out recently, so I think people are not really going to be impressed by this one if they weren't impressed by, like, uh, you know, Hunted the Demon's Forge or the, the First Templar, the Last Templar, I can't even remember. All those games like that. None of None of them really appeal to me. They seem to have not too much character to them. Right, so I'm just slaying Barbad here. Is that a boss? I have no idea. If it was a boss, he went down like a little bitch. 
Let's equip whatever he's given me. Might as well go through the motions, right? Ten warding. All right. I don't know what warding does, but I'm sure in the Dungeons and Dragons universe that has something important associated with it. Um, do I have to purchase proficiencies? Oh, I found an orb which allows me to purchase proficiencies. Yeah, let's purchase another lightning precision. Fantastic. And uh, another plus 20% for criticals. Plus 10 for criticals. Yes, I would like to... Oh, I, I've already purchased that. I can't purchase it again. Let's just purchase this one. So how do I get through here? Do I to, oh, I just take the path around the barrels. Keep walking. It looks like I'm coming across something interesting it here. It seems the Dark Sister smiles on us. She has brought the last of the wayward children to us. You'll pay for that! Come then, witch. It's time to face Legion justice. Ha! I think not. But now that you are here... Alright, cool. Uh, you know, Vera is a pretty terrible name for a witch. Uh, kind of like Jane Cassinder is a pretty terrible name for a, a, a boss. Alright, so I'm really not sure. Is this Vera right here? No, it's just yet another sorceress. I can tell I'm gonna die consistently in this fight. But in the meantime, I am just gonna keep wailing on her as fast as I can. That's a 340 health already. Continue, why not? Just get up and cut her ass up. Keep going. Am I even, like, I'm doing almost no damage to her. This is pretty sad. Alright, I, I, I'm confused what's going on. I died again. And I can tell you, the casual setting is pretty punishing. And when I picked it, it was like, uh... It was like, pick this setting if you just want to experience the game. And I was like, okay, that's that sounds perfect for a video. But apparently not. Where is Vera? Which one of these assholes is Vera? I don't want to just kill these... God damn, it died again. We should have a death cap here. Okay, where is... This has got to be Vera, right? Yeah. Okay, let's take her down. Let's take her down, me and nobody else. Worth noting, the game does have some uh, online co-op. And, uh, like, like the original game. And um, local co-op as well, if you could, like... You know, line up two people on your PC. Actually, this is clearly designed for consoles. So if you could line up two people on your Xbox, you could uh, totally uh, do this if you wanted to. Waste a couple hours at least. Man, why did? Why am I even bothering? Really going through with this right here? Quite clearly, just going through the motions. Is that Vera? Which one of these guys is Vera? Jesus Christ! Is her over here? Anyway, I'm on the verge of ending the video. One more death and I'll, uh, I'll cut this short. Yeah, so I'm just going to leave myself dead here. Um, basically, Dungeon Siege 3, if for whatever reason you have no consoles and no access to the demo yourself, um, mediocre. Not having a good time with it, really. Uh, much, much, much better options for you out there. Just, you know, if this is your type of game, wait for Diablo 3, or I guess, wait for Skyrim. That's going to probably blow everybody out of the water. This, super repetitive... Uh, pretty mediocre story, and it's told in a lazy way. You know, if you want to play a, a beat em up like this, which is what this basically is, just play Turtles in Time. It's a lot better. Or Castle Crashers. That's still got some some element of skill to it, uh, and a little bit of an upgrade quality to it as well. But anyway, Dungeon Siege Three probably not going to be worth your forty nine ninety nine when it comes out a little bit later this month. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Hopefully, with something that I like a little bit more than this.